It's the Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Now, Gashka, uh, the President's Award, is turning 40. Is it 40? Wow. And they're looking for people who have a Gashka Gold Award to get back in touch with them. Uh, Dr Ali Khan is a Gold Medal Awardee. Uh, he's also on the Board of Directors of Gashka and he joins me now from our Cork studio. Hello, Ali. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Good to talk to you today. Yeah, good to talk to you. When did you get your Gold Award? So I got my Gashka Gold Award in 2016. So, so you got it from Michael D. Higgins? I did, yeah. Uh-huh. A great day in Dublin Castle. Right. And, and, and that, what, what was, how did you feel about that? Because there's the President of Ireland and he's presenting you with this Gold Award for your achievements and we'll, we'll get to the, what you have to do to achieve it in a moment. But a very proud day. Yeah, absolutely. My parents came up and it was absolutely amazing to receive the award from him. I think one of the most inspiring things he did on the day was actually he had a little quiet word with a few of us before the ceremony and actually while we were on stage getting it as well and part of it part of that little chat was about sort of just saying look you know you have to take the mantle of leadership in this country on forward you know it's up to you now you know I'm anointing ye as the kind of new young leaders in this country and that's kind of what Gashka is about you know it's yeah. about fostering that leadership and I'm just thinking about your parents because they came over to Ireland from Pakistan they did, yeah. Yeah, so they were looking at their, their son then getting an award from the President of Ireland, their new home. Absolutely. Th- that's special. Yeah, massively. Like, both my parents came over in... So I was born in Ireland in 91 and my sister was born in 93 in Ireland as well. But my parents came over in 90, actually. Right. Uh, just around Italia 90 and sort of just got swept up with <laughs> right. Jackie's army and the whole nine <laughs> yards. But my mum my mom is um, an absolute powerhouse and, you know, she, she said that when she came over, her attitude was sort of just like, right, that's it. Burn the boats, we're not going back. Right. Ireland is our home now. And... You know, my family and my parents are very much focused on starting to give back to the community as well. So they were incredibly proud to see their son up there with the president and trying to kind of represent that as well. And do you or do they go back to Pakistan at all? They do, actually. They were back last uh, Christmas time. Uh, One of my cousins was getting married. So my mom was able to go back there for a little bit of time and spend some time with her brothers and sisters. So er, they love going back. But, you know, with COVID and stuff as well, it's difficult. Yeah. Okay. so where were you in, in, in the education system when you decided to go with the Goshka thing? So I was in my final year of undergrad. So I did dentistry in in UCC here in Cork. And so I was in final year and I decided I didn't have enough on my plate, you know. So I decided (laughs) that it might be a good idea to go into a Gashka as well. Yeah, Yeah, and you were cheeky because you skipped the, the, the bronze and the silver, went straight to gold. Yeah, go for the gold, Ray. Yes, you know, I didn't know that was possible. It. I thought you had to go through the, the bronze and the silver, but you can go straight to gold if you fancy your chances. Not to, Yeah, absolutely. If you don't mind not sleeping very much, you <laughs> right. can kind of get it done. Um, but as I always say, like if Michael Collins could run a war of independence on three hours sleep, I could probably do a gashka, you know. So it's like, that was what I did. So I did it in, I started it and finished it in my last couple of years of dentistry in UCC and then got it when I was 25 in 2016. Now, we've been talking for a couple of minutes and we still haven't explained to people who are not in the know about mm. the Goshka. Uh, translated its great achievement and yep. it, it's a youth award, uh, as we've established, presented then when you get to a certain stage by the president. It's called the President's Award. What do you have to do? So basically what it's about is... Um, it's about youth leadership it's about being a leader in your community and it's about being a kind of a growing your talents in and of yourself so what you have to do is a series of different challenges over a certain period of time and depending on what you go for bronze, silver or gold that kind of decides what challenges you do a little bit as Mm -hmm. well but then also how long you do them for so for me personally I did you know, I was volunteering in an elderly home here in Cork in Cher. I was um, playing cricket. I was doing drama. I was did an adventure journey and I also volunteered on the cycle against suicide. And all of that was sort of over about a year and a half period of time. So it was an incredible experience. Uh, it was mad because I was trying to fit in the last couple of years of, of dental uh, mm. studies as well, of dentistry studies as well in UCC. So it was kind of a busy time, but... Is well worth it. Like it was incredible. It's it's real commitment. Um, yeah, yeah. So it is over a year. It's not uh, go off and get a piece of paper signed up by somebody down the road to say that you've helped a, 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 a you know an elderly person across the road or something like that. It, there's a lot more to it than that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. A, and it is something which is it's not sport. It's outside of the school environment. It's yeah. it's very much proactive on your part, isn't it? And for the, all those reasons, I think 
I would always be impressed if I was ever in a situation where I was looking at somebody's CV if they got a gold award or even a silver or bronze award. Yeah, and, 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 and absolutely that's the case because any young person who takes on the challenge, you know, it, it, it really, you push your own limits. You know, I think was it, there's that great Parnell I quote where it was, um, no man has the right to set a boundary on the march of a nation. I think the same is true of an individual. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest things I learned doing Gashka myself, that like it set a platform for my own success in life and for achievement of goals. You know, since since I did Gashka myself, I've gone on and I obviously qualified as a dental surgeon, did a master's in oral surgery in the Royal College of Surgeons in Edinburgh, a residency in oral and max fac surgery from Cambridge University, an executive MBA from Trinity College in Dublin. My and word. just finished a master's in global governance and diplomacy in the University of Oxford. So, but you know, so much of that achievement I use the same frameworks I used when I was doing my Gashka. You yes. know, it was about time management, it was about goal goal setting, and also it was just about getting comfortable being uncomfortable. You know, when you got to sprint out of a clinic to run down to an elderly home to serve lunch for a couple of hours to the, to the elderly folks and have a chat with them and then sprint back up for another clinic, you know, you don't really acknowledge what tiredness is then at that point. Mm. You know, you just get on with it. And, um, you know, that kind of thing, I think, is really, it's something that you you'll, you'll discover things about yourself uh, to any young person, I'd say you discover things about yourself that you wouldn't realise and you discover that you don't really have any limits if you just keep pushing it, you know. Yeah. 40 years. How many, I don't expect you to know this off the top of your head, mm. uh, Ali, but how many people have gone through the Goshka Awards in those 40 years? It's definitely in the thousands. Yes. Um, and that's part of our Goshka Gold Voices community initiative that we're working on at the moment is try and get back in touch with the community of people who've gotten the award over the years because... The kind of vision, I remember chatting to um, Yvonne McKenna, who's the CEO of, of Gashka, a while back. And, you know, we were kind of thinking of trying to set up and trying to put together this community. And it's been an absolute Trojan effort by the whole team at Gashka, everyone, uh, right, all the board of directors, all the team in Rotra House, everybody involved, to try and get this initiative out there, this Gashka Gold Voices community. Mm. And the idea behind it, it's, it's, it's kind of... I suppose it's almost Aristotelian in its logic, where there's this idea of sort of where your talent meets the world's, need, world's needs, therein lies your calling. And that's what we want this community to try and do for people. So that what we're trying to say to young people is, you know, if we can establish this community, this alumni network and categorise it and catalogue it, what we're hoping then is we can reach out to young people and say, look, if you have a talent, if you have a passion, go and do Gashka. You'll cultivate it, you'll discover you've no limits and then if you want to do something with that talent after you get your Gashka, here's a network of people that you can tap into and who'll help you because typically you'll find the people who do who have the kind of get up and go and the initiative to do a Gashka at any level, bronze, silver or gold, they tend to be the, carry that into their lives mm. so they tend to be in great spots to help out yes. young people. I, I, as you describe it, Ali, it sounds like a very potent <laughs> force there, mm. uh, what you've planned. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, so that's part of the 40th thing. Any, anything else happening with the celebrations? Yeah, will, they, will they be asking uh, ex-pals back their uh, presence awards leaders and maybe give them a slap up meal or something like that? I'm just asking for myself, not for a friend, because I was a pal once. Yeah, I did. I did hear that on the grapevine, Ray. Actually, yeah, I heard. I heard something about a very interesting jump out of a plane yeah. at some stage. Is <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a ridiculous story. But, but yeah, it's back in the nineties now, so that's thirty years ago. It would have been the early days of of, of the President's Awards, or well, it would have been eight or nine years old. Right. But there, there were two girls who asked me, "Would I be their pal?" As in President's Awards leader, it's like a mentor, isn't it? Isn't that what it is, Ali? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The pal is essential, Ray, and like that's the other part of it is we hope that a lot of people who got their gold would be. Happy happy to, to follow in your footsteps right, you know your yes. illustrious footsteps well, well there's more than footsteps now but when I tell the story because so they came into RT and we sat down in the canteen and bought them a cup, a cup of coffee and I was like what are your plans for your, your presence awards and they were going that, 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 that community service that sort of thing that learning an instrument and then they said and, and for our adventure part of it we're going to jump out of a plane yeah. me thinking that looking at these two teenagers that they were they, they were never going to jump out of a plane I said to them well listen if you do it I'll do it with you <laughs> so I thought play. that's 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 a commitment I'll never have to you know, honour. You know, yeah. so that, that was me thinking that. Walked away from the canteen and they got in there and took a few phone calls the next year or so. And and then they got, they rang me and said, well, we're doing it. And then we were brought down to Punchestown and it was cancelled due to bad weather. And I said, Whew, dodge that bullet. Yeah. Anyway, a year on, we're back down in Punchestown and I find myself 2,000 uh, feet above ground with a parachute on my back, one strapped to my chest after doing a day of... 
uh, training. And this isn't one of those tandem things. This is you're on your own, Ali. You're right. on your own. And I'm first out. And I don't know if you've ever done it, but it's fine until they open the door. Uh, and then you get that that rush of wind and uh, there's nothing between you and the ground. And then they switch off the engine, Ali. And Jeepers. <laughs> yes, yes. Jeepers is right. Yeah. Jeepers is right. And I have these two girls and I'm supposed to be a mentor. I'm a leader. I'm supposed right. to show, Set the lead trend. by example. Yes. Yeah. yes. And then you have to step out onto the wing. You have to do that. You have to actually step out, make a conscious decision to step out into the wing. And so your man going, yeah, it's OK, right. Out you go. No, nothing happens, Ali. Nothing happens. And he goes, you'd have to go on, Ray. So eventually I step out into the wing. And part of the training is that you have to count five seconds and then check your parachute to make sure it's open. If it's not open, you deploy the standby one. And what you do is you count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, check parachute, right? So eventually, with some encouragement from the jump leaders, they're called, I push back and there I am in midair. And I'm going, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Oh, jeez. And yeah, nobody could hear me, but you can imagine what I said. It wasn't nice. But the parachute opened and I landed safely. And so did the two Goshka winners. And it was a glorious day. That's, but the, that's true commitment, Ray. But here's the final, the final part of the story is this. I was given back my parachute and the man who trained us was there in sort of, you know, full military gear. And I said, God, it's a strange taste in my mouth. And he goes... That's the taste of fear, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's it. Well, that, how about this, Ray? We put it as a challenge, right? As right. part of as part of the Goshka 40th anniversary, how about you and me will do some sort of air jump over Phoenix Park? And then I don't think I'm speaking out of turn now when I say this. Yvonne and the whole team of Gashka will welcome you for a lovely meal in Rotra House. OK, so. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it again. I'll jump again. I'll jump again. There you go. You've thrown down the gauntlet. Thrown down the Gashka gauntlet. Um, Ali, so uh, where people can go, Gashka, just put in Gashka and they'll find it. They're looking for uh, people like yourself who are gold medal uh, awardees and uh, yeah. happy 40th anniversary birthday to Gashka. Ali Khan, thank you very much for coming into our Cork studio. Thanks, Ali. My pleasure, Ray. Thank bye you. Bye Good bye to bye chat bye to you. Bye. The Ray Darcy Show, an RT. E Radio 1.